As soon as it gets high tide, we're landlocked. We're dealing with each other. It's a little experiment. These little guys that are the secret ingredient. One sunny Friday, the monks decided to host their own crisp eating competition. In 1956, the World Crisp Eating Competition took place in Bradford, sponsored by local business Seabrook Crisps. One sunny Friday, the monks decided to host their own crisp eating competition. Three, two, one, go. According to a brief internet search, the record for the amount of crisps eaten in one minute stood at 27. Each monk had one minute to try and eat 30. But a quarter of the way through, and all competitors are looking strong. There's a variety of tactics at play here. There's no clear winner at this point. It's fair game. Confidence is clear across the board, but who's really thought ahead? We need empty mouths to guarantee a win. Ooh, and that's Brian out of the game. Nasty. Lucas Hill through with the win. Closely followed by Ruby. Commiserations to all others. Big thanks to Seabook Crisps for the goods. Until next time. Even, bold, solid, pure. <sighs> nice eyes. So we've come to the coast, my beloved coast, to do a bit of a wild camp by the sea. You can see that nab over there, that grey nab. We're going to go round that and we're going to camp uh, on a little bit of grass that gets landlocked. As soon as it gets high tide, we're landlocked. We're dealing with each other. It's a little experiment, social experiment, see if we don't eat each other. We'll suck each other off. We've, uh, we've just arrived at camp here. I think the plan is to, uh, we've got a few crabs uh, that we're gonna cook up and then we're gonna make a bit of a curry as well, I think, so. Almost got fire there, right? Yep. <laughs> Brian spotted this bit of uh, timber. Perfect bench. You can do it with a hand. <laughs> we need some muscle, please. Yeah. That'd be all right. I could carry this. You could feel it, right? Yeah. All right, I've got it. I've just got it. I've got the whole thing. I've got it all. You can let go. Whoa! <laughs> Beer, eh? There's something that I've been thinking about for a long time and it's the mother of my daughter and her family have a, a bakery in Whitby right. called Botham's and they do some mighty fine brack and different cakes and all that sort of stuff. I'd love to incorporate that into the beer if we can. Talking Yorkshire brack porter. Proper like, Yorkshire, proper English porter. Yeah. Build up like the real kind of current flavours with the malt bill and all that kind of stuff. Mm. What what are we uh, what are we gonna call it though? Well, so I think it has to have brack in it, doesn't it? Yeah. What about brack in the habit? That's brack, and then it's uh, yeah. bringing Yorkshire brack. I think is a good bringing one. Bringing Yorkshire brack. I'm bringing oh, Yorkshire there you go. brack. Bringing Yorkshire brack. I like yeah, that. Yeah, that's got legs. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm bringing York, Yorkshire. I'm bringing brack. Yorkshire brack. I'm bringing Yorkshire brack. Yeah. Brack. Da 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 da. <laughs> Done. Send it. Done.
Hey, I'm Ben, I'm one of the brewers at uh, Northern Monk. I'm just going to tell you a little bit about Naked Malted Oats. Uh, they're one of our malts we get from Chris Malt. And they're basically these little guys that are the secret ingredient to your New England IPAs and your oatmeal stouts. They just give that really nice like creaminess and a nice like mouthfeel and the haze that people love in their New England IPAs.